Welcome back, everybody. Get out your best shade of pink like that hat we just showed from the yeah. Pro Shop because it is the color of solidarity next weekend for Green Bay's Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk. And Jordan is at Heritage Hill State Park, which is the new location. Good morning. Good morning at the entrance of Heritage Hill now, and that's where we find the big pink chair. Yes, this is awesome. Uh, Shannon, can you hear that, everybody? Yep. <laughs> I, I think I broke your big pink chair. Anyway, this is a, a really fun place for you know families who show up this, uh, the following weekend to you know come take pictures and have some fun, right? Yeah, absolutely. We encourage everybody to get in the big pink chair and take a photo. Uh, we'll have face painting, a balloon artist. We'll have Zumba for everybody to do, aerial dance. Yeah. We have a lot of things going on. And Heritage Hill is just a great spot. Oh, my God. I'm so excited to yeah. have it here. I think it is, too. Now, we have the honorary breast cancer survivor here with us today. Michelle, thanks for joining us today. My pleasure. Thank you. So I read your bio online and it says that you were diagnosed with breast cancer in 2015. You know, what's, right. your, what's your story? Well, my story is I got cancer and I kind of freaked out a little bit, right. um, like everyone does. But my oncologist was wise and told me to check out the American Cancer Society website, mm -hmm. and that was my go-to. Um, it was a safe place to go. I didn't have to worry about hearing stuff that wasn't true, very accurate information. And they were actually instrumental in the research and development of the drug that probably saved my life. Yeah, exactly. And that research is part of the reason why everyone's raising money here, yeah. uh, you know, coming up in a few weeks. So let's talk about, you know, being here and, you know, meeting people uh, that are going through the same process. I like to encourage people that are going through this because most people are just afraid and they're just scared and they don't know what to do. And I'm not afraid to talk about it. I will talk about cancer all day long, and I do. Um, so supporting others who are going through the journey is just easy for me and I can understand it better than someone who hasn't sure. been there. And how is it, how important is it for people to sign up, get down here and support this cause? It's important because we need to raise that money to get the research to save more lives mm -hmm. as the years go by. And this money that was used, you know, how did outside of, you know, obviously the, the life saving medication too, you know, how, how does it impact the patients that are going through? Well, I know that uh, the American Cancer Society provides free rides mm -hmm. for chemo if they don't have a way to get there and all kinds of information. Um, there's a lot of information on the website. I, I can't cover it all. It's just a lot of stuff. Exactly. Yeah. How excited are you for this year? I am stinking excited. Can I say that on TV? <laughs> oh, yes. Hey, guess what, Lisa? <laughs> We have a candy bar with your name on it. I have to bring it back. Yeah, because he's in trouble if he doesn't. <laughs> That's right. All right, Shannon, you know, where, where's the best place for people to get details should they want to register? Honestly, go to makingstrideswalk.org. Everything's on there, parking, um, the route information signing up everything new location you guys got to know what's all up so that's the best way to do it i went there it was super easy put in my zip code and i found out everything i needed to know so get down here this is saturday the 18th 19th. 19th saturday the 19th yep okay i can't wait to get there and sit on that big chair with jackson it'll be a fun time always lisa's emceeing once again thanks jordan